Hi, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video I'm going to be configuring um, time-based access control lists. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set up um, uh, the ACL on router 2. Um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to show here how you can um, you know, use an access control list uh, based on um, you can block people or permit traffic permit or deny traffic based on uh, you know a time a certain time frame so what we'll do is we'll go ahead here and we'll first do a, uh, a basic example of a time-based ACL then we'll go into um, a little more advanced uh, configuration so um, what we'll do first is we'll make sure we have our routing up As you can see here in the uh, in the topology, we have a loop back on router one is 1.1.1.1 slash 32. Then we have the networks uh, from router two to router one and router three. Uh, the network to router one from router two is 12 network, and the network from router two to router three is the 23 network. Um, also, we have a loop back on router three, uh, which is 3.3.3.3 slash 32 and so what we'll be doing here is we'll be using the telnet command on router 1 uh, trying to get to the loop back on router 3 and we'll source it from our uh, from our loop back so what we're going to see here is that you can use the telnet option within you know the Cisco IOS uh, to actually practice you know your time based ACLs are for that case, um, any extended, you know, uh, access control list, you can use time bait, uh, you can use, I'm sorry, you can use the Cisco iOS Telnet feature um, to specify what port uh, you want to connect on. So, in this case, if I do on router one, I do a show IP route. You can see here that I, you know, I have an adjacency to router uh, two and I'm learning the EIGRP networks behind router 2 which is the 23 network and the 3 network so if I ping router 3's loop back I, ha I am successful so what I can do here is just show you a basic example um, uh, using the telnet command actually let's go to router 3 real fast uh, we'll set up the uh, Name Cisco, and we'll do a password of. I'll just do username, admin, our yeah username admin, and the password we're going to do Cisco. So that's what we have going on right now. We just created the the user on router three. Okay, now that we got the user. Created on router three. Let's go to router one. Let's see if we can turn that over. As you can see, it's still not letting me. It's because on router three we didn't set the VTY line. So go here, and we'll do a line VTY zero to nine zero three, and we'll do login local. And now if I go back to router one, as you can see now it's prompting me for a username. So I'm gonna put an admin, password is Cisco, and here I am at router three. So as you can see the telnet connection worked. Also what you can do here is do a telnet and then question mark here you can see I can telnet using different ports. Also I can telnet using the source interface command so I can source my telnet. So we'll be using this uh, later on in the video. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and set up an ACL on router 2 and that ACL is going to be inbound into router 2 and uh, what we're going to do is come here to router 2, do IP access list extended um, because you have to create an extended access list for time-based ACL 
uh, what we're going to do here is name it um, uh, something generic. We'll just name it like uh, uh, R1 to R2. So basically meaning traffic from R1 into R2. And because we're going to apply it again, we're going to apply it inbound on fester unit at 0, 0 on router 2. So again, what we want to do is go to router 2 here, access list extended, R1 to R2. And then here we're going to, first what we want to do is, uh, since we're going to be using an ACL inbound, what we want to do is permit uh, UDP from any to any equal to, uh, I'm sorry, not permit UDP.